Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 11th of March 2019. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the amazing Tarot of the Sevenfold Mystery by Robert Place. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of. These readings are for everyone who watches them. They apply to all signs of the zodiac. So if you like the videos, please share them so that other people can also check in and see what the energy is about. That's what I do in these daily tarot readings. I tune into the day's energy and I ask the cards, what is Monday the 11th of March going to be like? And then the cards being the wonderful divination tool that they are, provide me with an answer, a very detailed answer usually. So let's have a look at what they have to say about today. We've got two, four, six, eight, the nine of swords. We had that recently as well. Then we've got the eight of pentacles and we've got the lady of wands. Okay, great. Perfect. All right. So the nine of swords usually represents worry. It represents fear and letting negative thoughts overwhelm you. Usually it's someone sitting up in bed in the middle of the night at three in the morning and thinking, oh my goodness, how am I going to fix this? How am I going to make this happen? In this case, we've got a uh, kind of hanging jungle gym of swords hanging down and we've got this man in chain mail navigating his way through and he's got this red lead which is helping him to find his way through he's got the chain mail on so he's in no danger of being cut which is a metaphor for negative thoughts actually affecting him and he's got this beautiful beautiful um code on which is got this very bold beautiful print with flowers and um, nature lots of green lots of red lots of flowers opening and blossoming so the card here today instead of worrying about things and instead of letting other people's negative opinions and words affect you what you do is you follow the red line. You follow the passionate way forwards. So this red line is very similar to the Lady of Wands. The Lady of Wands is the Queen of Wands, and she dictates what your life purpose is, what you're passionate about. So this guy, he is naturally in touch with himself. That's all the green. He's protected. He knows that the world can be tough sometimes. So he's no fool. He goes out into the world and he wants to thrive and blossom like we all do. And he's positive and he says, do you know what? There are hardships in life, but I'm not going to let those get me down. I'm going to duck a little bit so I don't get cut here. And I'm going to follow my life passion. I'm going to follow my purpose and I'm going to find a way out of this negative space and I'm going to find a place where I'm safe and I can really thrive and blossom and succeed and I can implement the things that I care about. So instead of the card being the usual kind of worry card, in this case, it's a way out of worry. By listening to your passions, your desires, what it is you care about, and listening to those and hanging on to them, that's going to be your exit strategy from negativity. So what comes next then is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is someone who is a craftsman, someone who's very skilled. Here he's making coins. So this is a mint or something. He is dressed in green, so this is naturally what he desires to do. And his hair is kind of a beautiful reddish brown. So this is his passion. He loves to do this. And he does good work. Each coin is absolutely the same. 
And that's important. You know, if you have currency in a country, you want the coins to be of a certain standard. If they're some are five millimeters thick and the others are three millimeters thick, that's no good because it's inconsistent. So it looks like the worries have to do with practical matters, work, bills, career, finances, uh, your home, physical health, the daily routine, how you can make more money. And all of those things are things that you have a lot of control over today. You don't have to worry about them because there's a way out. And the way out is to listen to your passions and your desires. And that is going to guide you towards doing work that you're really naturally destined to do and that you enjoy. And when you do that work, you create um, an income for yourself. Or it can be as, as um, literal as you're actually working on your physical health or so you change the way you eat or you're working on decorating your apartment to make it look more beautiful and homey and more comfortable or you're actually opening all the bills the letters that have come through the door and that you've just put in the in the drawer next to the door and you've just ignored for the last three months you get them out and you have a system of actually going through them and you tick things off when they've been dealt with and you have a system of working with those things so that you can get on top of your financial circumstances and that you can get things organized and ticked off. So the Lady of Wands is the Queen of Wands. Again, she is very, very in touch with her natural aptitudes and her natural desires. She's fiery. She's always about growth. She is in a position where she's doing things that are part of her nature. She doesn't go against her nature. If she thinks something is wrong, something is faulty, something feels unfair or like she shouldn't be doing it, she doesn't do it. She holds this wand and she's progressed through the court card. So you start as a page, then you become a knight, and then you become the lady and the queen of wands. And it means that with each step up, you have more control of like what your life purpose is and what your passions really are. So that today, you're going to find it really easy to understand what you care about in a practical way. So what's important? Is it your daily routine, your physical health, your work, your money, your... Um, the way you live, your commute, your circumstances, and you're really naturally going to be in touch with your feelings. You don't have to search for that. It'll just be there. And because those natural feelings are just going to pop up in you, and you've got the eight of pentacles in the center here, you're very, very practical and you have a lot of power to make changes to those things and to find your way out of circumstances that you don't like, that feel negative, that feel dangerous, that feel like you're entrapped. And you can work on making the changes because it's really obvious and clear to you what your natural aptitudes are, what your natural desires are. And once you have that information, you can use it to thrive and succeed and to make the changes in your life that you want. So if you're someone who doesn't know what your vocational aptitudes are or what your life purpose is, this is a wonderful day to find out. And if you struggle with that, if despite the energy that really supports you with that on this day, if you don't find this little red string that you can follow and you're really lost, that's where I come in because I can look at your astrology chart and use the tarot to really, really look at who you are. The astrology chart, your natal chart is a snapshot of the sky at the moment you were born. 
and I can see everything about you. I can see what you're good at when it comes to work, what you're naturally inclined to do and what you're naturally going to be good at and what you're going to enjoy and what's going to pay off financially. And I can look at what your life purpose is and often the working life purpose and the life purpose in the spiritual sense are often one and the same, but sometimes they're different. So I can look at that. I can look at what is coming up for you in travel and um, education, love, romance, children, finances, career, personal development, communications, and the way you think, um, relationships with family members. I can look at what's coming up in future in all of your areas of life. And then if you have any questions, especially about life purpose or what you're supposed to be doing for work, that's really, really easy for me to answer just by looking at your birth chart. So if you're interested in that, then please do get in touch with me via my website. It's gregbscott.com. Click on the readings tab and order your reading with me there. I can then draw up your natal chart and give you the answers that you're looking for. In terms of the numbers here on this on this reading, we've got 9 and 8, which is 17, and a court card is 1, that's 18. 1 and 8 is 9, and 9 is spirituality and completion. Okay, so you're naturally in touch with your higher self. That's what all this green is. And you naturally know what's going to allow you to prosper and flourish and thrive. And because you have that information, you can then take the, do the actual legwork, take the steps that are required to make the changes that you want and you can change your life for the better. And like I said, if you struggle with that, then just get in touch with me for a personal reading. I can really give you the information that you need. And I remember when I was 18, I went to a uh, psychologist who was a vocational counselor, and I wish I'd gone to an astrologer because it just, I just have so much more scope in terms of possible job opportunities than a vocational counselor. And I, I feel that people don't know that and they should. So that's, this is me advertising this. <laughs> okay, so I hope you have a wonderful start to the week. It looks like a really great practical day. Um, if you like these videos, then please share them online. Also hit the subscribe button to be notified of new daily tarot reader readings and weekly horoscopes that I do, which apply to all signs of the zodiac. And then also check out some of my monthly horoscopes and yearly horoscopes for each particular sign of the zodiac. So Scorpio and Libra and Sagittarius and Aquarius and Pisces. I go into detail for each specific sign. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Get in touch with me um, for help if you want. Um, have a wonderful Monday and have a wonderful start to the week. And I'll speak to you tomorrow.